we first start with the ed code and the ed code of 48900 talks about activity that happens off school campus and outside of school hours. That is where the schools are able to discipline under the ed code for online activity. This is really, really important because for the cases that we can't prosecute criminally or we choose not to because we think a rehabilitative strategy would be better suited on a campus level, it doesn't mean that the school can't enforce the ed code and restrict after school activities, sports programs, um, anything, even school attendance. There are many things that the schools are doing now to redirect their students from juvenile crime and juvenile criminal liability. So our immediate school response is the most important to restore safety and positive school campus culture. So if you have a young person that comes to you and you ask them, did you tell anyone at your school that this was happening and they say no, please encourage them to come forward because I can guarantee that if that one student knows about it, at least 5, 10, 20 others do also. It will be permanently affecting campus school culture and we've seen that time and time again when these internet cases kind of take flames and start burning down um, you know, our, our campuses. We also want to make sure that our young people know and we know how to remove and report. Remove and report. We saw a really big drop off of young people that had digital, um, I would say misuse, technology misuse, and yet didn't really know what to do. Didn't really know what to do about it. Um, report it not only to the site itself, so you can report it to Instagram and Snapchat and Kik and Facebook, um, but you can also look at organizations like withoutmyconsent.org and then of course report also to the police department. I don't want people to feel like if they report to the police department it's going to be like some minor is going to be going to juvenile hall. The whole point of having a digital safety curriculum is to recognize those cases that need the criminal justice system for juveniles and the ones that just need some education and redirection. And that's my entire job is to make sure that we're rehabilitating our students that make bad choices online that don't need the supervision of not only the criminal justice system but the probation department. Let's sit down and talk about it. Most of our problems are solved that way.